Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So we just wanted to share with you guys some ways that might help you lift your vibration. Uh, where we keep talking about the number one thing that we get from our guides and the galactics is to keep your vibration high. Because obviously there's forces that are trying to drive us down, down, down in vibration. And, you know, today, for instance, well, actually last like three days, I think there's been an insane amount of spraying in the skies. Just insane. I came out this morning. I couldn't believe it. I took a short video um, of it, which I'll probably share it with you guys when we hopefully do a live uh, soon. And it was just everywhere you look. And we, we are in a very unpopulated area of southern Colorado right now. And we've enjoyed uh, this area a lot. We may be moving on to a little bit different area, but not too far away shortly um, as we just enjoy exploring nature. And as I'm talking about the spring, I mean, look up in the skies right there. It's just incessant. I've shared with you guys, you know, there's 200, well, this is from a few years ago, there was 239 documented cases of when the U.S. Uh, has sprayed its population and later admitted to it. And, yeah, it's just incredible. Uh, we found aluminum and barium, as well as biological things like bacteria and viruses in the stuff that's being sprayed. And, of course, aluminum and barium can definitely have an impact on our cognitive facilities. Oh, my gosh, can they ever... Um... You know, and what, another reason why you'd want to keep your vibration high is because of the subtle, little tiny subtle differences that make all the difference in the world in your life. Little things that you might, you know, decide to hang the keys up at a certain spot, which gets you out to the car at a certain time so that maybe you make a turn at a certain time, you get to the grocery store at a certain time, and you're able to get in and out with your groceries and get home. And just just by that one little move your day is going really, really well, you know, instead of being stuck, stuck at like stoplights or stuck at the grocery store, that one little move changed everything. Well, that's interesting line of thinking about a series of events that can occur as well um, with like one thing going right or one thing going wrong. If you guys know what I mean, and Zeke's just enjoying it out here. Uh, I think in the low 60s, maybe high 50s, really nice weather for hiking. Uh, we're on top of a mountain right now, a little plateau. It was quite steep, and we've gone up here three times now. This time we made it without taking a, a breather, because uh, it's definitely challenging at altitude. And for most of my life, I've lived close to the sea level. And then when we were in Nevada, I was getting used to about 3,000 feet which I know is not that much. And the same thing in, in North Carolina. But you know, now when you're at elevations that can be 10,000 feet or more, boy, you feel the oxygen, or lack thereof, as we were talking about oxygen being key with uh, telomeres and uh, longevity. But to get back on path, as far as raising your vibrations, um, one of the things I was going to bring up is maybe learn an instrument. If you haven't learned an instrument yet, you know, I, I had never done anything musically since like grade school. And then in 2012, I bought a guitar. And, you know, it, it does not come easy to me. <laughs> it's, it's not a gift by any means. Um, yeah, musically, I'm not really super musically inclined. But even so, when I do pick it up, I find a peace. You know, there's, there's like, it's like a meditation. It really is a meditation. I get the same sort of peaceful vibe when I'm putzing around with the guitar. And especially if I'm trying to be creative and not trying to learn a song, just trying to see what feels good, what sounds right. And for my mind, what's interesting is I, I have to think of things numerically, kind of. You know, and, and think of patterns numerically that would make sense and then transpose that over to uh, different chords, different notes. 
and that's just the way my brain is. Um, but music, and then if you can't learn or you don't want to learn, take the time, then just playing music that's uplifting. So a lot of times I'll put on uh, Deva Premal or Jesse Cook, who I know a lot of you guys are probably not familiar with him, uh, Atmar Liebert, uh, jo- Johannes Lindstedt, um, Snatham Cower, just like uplifting type of music. Definitely, you know, or your go to your favorite song and just blast that really, really loud. Like if you're in a, if you're in a bad spot in your mind and you can't snap out of it, do your favorite song, blast it really loud, and I guarantee you, by the end of that three or four minutes, you're going to be in a different place. So music has a profound effect on us, and then a couple of things which we talk about all the time are what we're doing right now, getting out into nature. And just unplugging from culture, society, civilization, as Sassy's doing right now. She's enjoying unplugging. And, you know, that is an amazing uh, restorative thing. Getting out in nature is awesome. And we've also talked about mantras. You know, repeating a mantra will change your vibration. You could also uh, use affirmations as well, or prayers. You know, all those things can change your vibration, change your mood, lift you up. Oh, definitely. You know, just even getting out of the house and just walk around the block. Walk around the block one time and then see how you feel. If you feel better, do that again. Exercise. Just even blasting a few minutes out is going to help raise your vibration. Then obviously listening to inspirational people, whether they be on YouTube or writing in BitChute what have you, um, listening to somebody that resonates with you, that can pull you up, especially when you're in a down mood. And I hope that we're able to do that for some of you out there. And, um, you know, that could be a a big, big thing that could, again, take us out of a day that perhaps has been a little bit too stressful and bring us into a good place, a good, calmer, more peaceful place. Um, a lot of you guys out there, for instance, have that we've been working with are telling us that you're listening to the different Solfeggio frequencies, and um, I found that they really work. I think they really, really work, as well as I love listening to uh, Native American flute and then like the Tibetan bells. Mm, oh gosh, definitely sound healing, sound therapy. You know, get the get the sound around your body evened out. And these things can go through the energy field and kind of level things out so you're a little more congruent with your surroundings. Another thing that could really help is exercise. You know, get some endorphins releasing, some feel-good um, hormones into the body. And, you know, I've always been somebody that's exercised. Most of my life, I would say I've averaged um, a good, solid workout of one sort or another, Five or six days out of the week is typical. And, you know, for a long time I was addicted to weightlifting and uh, also like more physical martial arts like Taekwondo and Hapkido, Judo, things like that. And then shifted a little bit more to um, Qigong, Tai Chi, yoga as time has gone on. But again, you know, physical exercise, that can definitely help our vibrations and our frequency. Oh, for sure. You know, and just even just get a few minutes in. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes, an hour. It doesn't have to be any of that. Just if you can get a few minutes in, that is really going to change your mindset in a, in a snap. Another thing that's wonderful is fellowship. And whether it's, you know, in a religious group, uh, you know, way, way back, it was Bible studies two, three times a day, a week. Two, three times a week, I'd be going to Bible studies, and uh, I got a lot out of it. It was more about fellowship, um, sharing with like-minded people. And then as I've shared, uh, when I was in Sarasota, my favorite thing to do, besides going to the beach, uh, was going to the curtains, because there was curtains and potluck dinners all the time, and just really a great community to just share time with, and... You know, we would do mantras and we would sing songs. And it was just a wonderful time, as well as do group meditations. Mm -hmm. And a really simple thing, like if you're in the car and you're kind of down, try breath work. 
you do five seconds in, hold five seconds, five seconds out. And that should also change your frame of mind too. Yeah, which leads us directly into meditation on a regular basis. It can do wonders. Study after study has shown that it can you know, change our whole mindset. Uh, it can help us work through so many difficult things, difficult times, letting go of uh, traumatic events, for instance. And pranayama is breath work, and you know qigong as well. Amazing what can be done with those things. It, it truly is amazing. So I hope we have helped give you guys some ideas that are fitting for your lifestyle to change that frame of mind. Turn that frown upside down. Yeah, I'll give you one more thing too. Uh, gardening. Gardening can be wonderful as well. And so, so you, we could see how we could combine several of these into one, uh, one bigger practice. And at the same time, be getting ourselves ready for the times that are upon us and the times to come. Definitely. Guys, thank you so much for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Before we go, I want to give you a little panorama. If you guys could, could make it out. If you could see some of the mountains in the background, some of the hills. Just a beautiful area. Uh, we love it. As always, guys, God bless and namaste.